everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to work some yarn over slip stitch ribbing. So this is the front of the design here. It does have a little bit of stretch to it. And this is the back. And it has a beautiful knit look to it. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook as well as a little bit of cotton yarn by Lion Brand. You can find links to both of these items in the description of the video as well as a direct link to the free written tutorial which is on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. Uh, if you enjoy the tutorial, feel free to give the video a thumbs up, say hello in the comments, or let me know how you would use this stitch in a project. First stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot, and then by working a foundation chain. For your foundation chain, you can use any number of stitches and then just add one. So I'm just going to work a small swatch here and you can work your foundation chain to as long as you would like. We're going to start right off in row one working a yarn over slip stitch. Sometimes the yarn over slip stitch is also called the half double crochet slip stitch. So and uh, it all has to do with the way that it's constructed. So what we're going to do is I'm working in the back bumps of my stitches. Uh, it's uh, really a matter of personal preference. We're going to yarn over and into the second chain from your hook insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop also drawing that loop through the other two loops on your hook. So you can see why it uh, has that slip stitch in it. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, also drawing that loop through the two loops that are on your hook. Repeat that all the way across your row. At the end of row one, this is what your first row looks like. You're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work uh, the ribbing portion of it. We're going to continue working our yarn over slip stitches and we're going to be working them in the back loop only of uh, the stitches down below. So when you look at the tops of your stitch you have this loop that is closest to you. That's your front loop. The back loop is the one that's furthest away. So again into this first stitch yarn over, insert your hook under the back loop only of the first stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, also drawing it through those two loops on your hook. And you're going to repeat that all the way across your work. At the end of row two, chain one, turn your work and as far as the repeat goes that's it for uh, the rest of your pattern you're going to simply work your yarn over slip stitches in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across chain one turn your work and then repeat and as you work you should start to see the ribbed texture form. So that's all there is to working the yarn over slip stitch ribbing. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to take a look around, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.